next 24 hours, promise yourself that you'll walk away from crime or violence. Volunteers plan to cover five miles of the city asking for 24 hours of peace. Good evening, everybody. Communities are filling buses to be part of what's called the Candlelight Chain for Peace. Some of the participants are survivors of the 55 murders in Cincinnati so far this year. That's already two more than all of last year. It may surprise you that the motive for murder is often not about drugs, money, or gangs, but rather about feeling disrespected. And that may be the reason a teen was shot to death earlier this week. Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us the teen's family will join tomorrow night's candlelight chain. 17-year-old Princeton High School student Keyshawn Wilson had no criminal record. He wasn't in a gang or into drugs. He wanted to um, get his license. I had talked to him about, you know, buying him a car for his 18th birthday. Um, he wanted to graduate high school. Police say Keyshawn never caused trouble here in Lincoln Heights, where he lived with his father and where he was shot to death in the street last Sunday. He just said, Daddy. He looked at me and said, Daddy. And then they put him up on a stretcher. We all know each other. Everybody's been knowing me for 30. I'm 37 years old, and I have to bury my son. Bury your son and the people that you grew up with? No. Know exactly what happened. It's the village's first homicide in two years. Violent crime is down 40%. Police say they work hard to connect with community. It's paying off. People are telling what they know. The community is, they're mourning uh, the loss of Keyshawn. Are they talking? Yes, yes. The community is very supportive right now. So do you feel like you're going to be able to make an arrest? We're very optimistic, yes. Chief Chance is taking a busload to tomorrow night's candlelight chain of peace. The chain of peace is going to start here at Section and Reading Roads at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Communities are sending busloads of people to line Reading Road for the next five miles. My son Tasman D. Frazier was 20 years old. He was killed April the 18th on West 9th Street at Uptown Towers. The chain will include survivors of murder like Mary, and Hope Dudley, the organizer. She does a community event every year on the anniversary of son Chaz's murder six years ago. We're asking people to come out. At 8 o'clock, we want to light a candle for 15 minutes of silence for 24 hours of peace in Cincinnati. The message to those who shoot, kill, and rob is simple but powerful. Give peace a chance. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. There is now a $3,000 reward for information about the teen's murder. Tipsters can call Crime Stoppers at 352-3040, or you can simply call the Lincoln Heights Police Department. You can find information about tomorrow night's candlelight chain at local12.com by clicking on the red Get It button.